welcome to our show, Nerds to Men. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's been a little while, guys. So, it has been, uh, been a while. while. It's been a while. Yeah, it's been. <laughs> all right, those are the two things you have to get out of your system. At the yeah, beginning. yeah. So are you, you guys been doing? You guys been doing all right? Yes, yeah. man. Yeah. 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 yeah, I'm doing good. Living. Yeah. Living. All right. Are That's you good. through the busy portion of the restaurant season? Yeah, I believe so. Usually, it's right around the um, everything happening after Father's Day. Yeah, it slows down. It gets drastically warmer outside. People want to do other outdoor activities. People are going on vacations. Right, right. Or there's sometimes any, they just barbecue at home. Yeah, there's yeah. not any major events happening, such as you know graduations or Father's Day. I got you stuff like that. So yeah, I got um I got a little bit of a break this week, and it feels awfully nice. So you went and saw Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, oh wow, <laughs> wow. We're still we're still behind. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> way uh, behind. Mm-hmm. No, I'm but, saving that one. Yeah, saving it. It's been it's been it's been long <laughs> enough to where I'm like, all right, I can save that one. And once it comes out on home video, well, since we were on, and it's been it's been yeah, it's been I know. Uh, it's <laughs> it has been a little while since we've done a show. Uh, we did we actually put out that episode that me and God recorded a while back with Doctor Crane. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was the philosophy and sci fi special. And we hope to do a whole bunch more. Actually, we were talking to Dr. Crane because he's a big fan of Star Trek. Mm-hmm. And we might do one over one of the movies or the nice. show or something yeah. like that. So yeah. yep. They have a whole uh, section on Hulu dedicated to Star Trek right now. Exactly. First, let's talk about some of the stuff that's been going on since we last got together. Um, since you've been gone. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah. There's Adam a song West. for everything, guys. Yes. Adam, West Adam West passed away. That, yeah. yeah. And that was very sad because. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Tell what me you what you're going to do when there ain't no way to hide. <laughs> <laughs> See, I told you, it's all for everything. Me yeah. crossroads. You're right. You're right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but Crazy bone, don't kill us. Adam West as Batman was probably one of my first, and I may have mentioned this before, but one of my first introductions to the character of Batman. Yeah. Of course, he was a cheesier Batman, you know, than the ones we've had in the movies sure. and everything. He's a do-gooder. But back in the day, that was the shit. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. So I loved it. I loved it growing up watching it, and even today still. And even, you know, like they yeah. did the, uh, that new animated movie. And right. It was charming. It was a lot of fun to watch. And I was hoping that, you know, they were going to get to make another <laughs> one of those. I thought that they were in production making a second one, so I'm wondering... If that's something that was close enough to being finished to where it can be released, or maybe so, maybe so. If it's just get Daryl Hammond to voice it, yeah, I'm, I don't know. Could you find somebody that could do an Adam West impersonation? I'm sure, I'm sure. But I mean, mm, would you want that? I don't think not that, necessarily. No, I don't think I would either. I didn't even realize, you know, growing up, you 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 can tell voices now, yeah, and you know, compare it with the person of today. And I never knew that Adam West was on the old uh, Cartoon Network show, Johnny Bravo. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, he played, I, I don't know how many episodes, but I, I, I know of one where he um, is basically kind of like a superhero. Yeah. Like, he, he takes care of, like, you know, bullies and whatever, so. Um, of course, he was on Family Guy. Yep. Uh, are you guys fans of Family Guy? Yeah, I like the show. I like the I show. Like I don't. The show. I'll watch it when it's on. I don't like make it a habit to tune in, but I'll watch it when it's on. Yeah, yeah he was he was pretty, pretty good. Silly. Jeremy Scott Miller says that he did finish the last animated show and it's going to be released. So. Supposedly it's going. Uh, I think we talked about it last time. Powerless. Oh yeah, they but did. I, we didn't talk about it on. on no, here. we it was, didn't. It was but in person, yeah. that was some news that came out since we've been gone. Since you've been gone. That's the clipped version. Yeah. Yep. He was on an episode of Powerless that never got aired, and so they did. I I haven't watched it yet. Have you? Uh, I, I don't know. Did it air yet? I think they, they put it out. It online. On, yeah. Oh. To watch. So I think when I get home, that's what I'm gonna yep. do. I'm gonna watch that. Pretty <laughs> sad. I, I'm sad to hear that. Uh, Ramiz says I heard The Rock is doing a live action Johnny Bravo. That would be hilarious. That would be dope. Yeah, I could see him doing that. Though. He's just he's doing all sorts of things these days. He's Jim, like the Jumanji. Kevin Hart now. Oh, I mean the <laughs> the Rock Jumanji. Yeah, yeah. With Kevin Hart and Jack Black, uh, he's the that? he's the franchise saver. He's yeah. like him and Marky Mark. Yeah. And well, apparently now, like he's wanted to kind of be a creative. I don't know, like 
kind of starting all these projects. Oh, he's yeah. wanted to do some stuff in the comic book world and then, yeah. it's just, you know, the Johnny Bravo thing here. Abe, he says Rock for President 2020. <laughs> yeah. I'd vote for him, The Rock. Him and Tom Hanks? Yeah. Did you see that SNL show? I did. Yeah, that was pretty funny. I would vote for The Rock and Tom Hanks. I think I would. Yeah, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> that'd be awesome. They, they'd be in some uh, uh, like special meetings or whatever, yeah. and they'd be like, "Rock saying this." So, what do you think about you know blah blah blah? And they start talking. It doesn't matter what you think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you jabroni. <laughs> that would be bad though, in a way, because since he was a former wrestler, yeah, that'd be too close to idiocracy. Uh, yeah, the plants would be craving electrolytes <laughs> <laughs> and protein shakes. Yeah. Yeah. Another thing mm. that we didn't really get to talk about, we probably won't go into it too much because it's been a little while. Yeah, it's been. Mm-hmm. We didn't get to talk about the end of Gotham, which I thought was notable for a couple things. Mm-hmm. Actually, the one thing that sticks out to me now the most was you got to see him in sort of a Batman-esque, you yeah. know, he's starting to put together that whole identity and that, what did he have, like a hoodie or what was yeah. he wearing? Yeah, it was like a hoodie and a scarf. Yeah. But it was kind of still kind of cool to see him like yeah. that. And then also they brought in Ray Shaw Ghoul. Yeah. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Were you excited about seeing like the baby Batman? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. kind of was. I was because maybe next year like we can see a little bit more like of him being more like Batman. Yeah. And I think I think that would kind of make the show more interesting. Towards the end of the show, I was like this season I was kind of like, eh, but they picked up at the very yeah, end. Yeah, they did. It picked up again. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed it. Um, I enjoyed the end of it. There were some ups and down moments of the season, but all in all, it was fun. There's some fun moments in there. Okay, I, I gotta say this. So you know how everybody's complaining about, oh, well, we thought Batman made the the supervillains and blah 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 blah. Uh-huh, right. Well, check this out. Don't you think that technically he was the cause of all of this because of the like Mister Freeze and Fish Mooney and all them that got those super freak powers, and it was all because of the Court of Owls, which was a part of Wayne at the asylum and yeah, yada, yada, yada. I would attribute it, I guess, more to his his dad then. Oh yeah. Yeah, I can see what you're saying. Yeah. I, I still think they're in some yeah. alternate universe. Mm-hmm. It's a cop drama with a Batman coat of paint. A Batman. Yeah. Batman yeah, also, coat of paint. Before, before we get off of uh, Batman. Um, Batman. Batman. <laughs> <laughs> supposedly, I don't know how true this is. It was just one of the actors, you know, Drake Bell. Uh-huh. Well, supposedly he tweeted out a, you know, a side-by-side picture of a knight and some chicken wings. Hinting Nightwing. Nightwing. Oh. And there were some other things that he uh, also like hinted to. This is all on Twitter. Twitter. Right. Man, and, now um, wings. Yeah, I know, me too. Right? I look at that picture. The, the, ooh, the wings. We, should get, we need to get sponsored by B-dubs. <laughs> Somewhere. That would be awesome. That'd be or, great. Or Wingstop. Or one. Cameo could start pulling his weight around here and just bring some. Like go to Twin Peaks before the show. No? No? Okay. Gotham then? <laughs> <laughs> It's interesting how a lot of these celebrities are kind of doing that where they're teasing the internet. And I feel like some of the time it's like maybe they've already had some some negotiations, but a lot of the time it seems like these are just people that want to play that role. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they're kind of throwing that out into the to the ethos. Now they don't have to go to the auditions. They can just do their audition yeah, on Twitter. Yeah. Absolutely. And then people <laughs> will respond exactly. and the studios can see the response that they get on various social media outlets. Speaking of, let's talk about the video that you posted to our Facebook page, the Gambit video. Yeah. Oh. Now, I was a little bit disappointed when I, because I, it said Gambit teaser. And I yeah. was like, ooh. I knew that it couldn't have been anything. Once uh, it started going, I was like, wait. Yeah, it's not real. But, but it was pretty dope. It, it was, was cool. pretty cool. They did, I liked it. They did a good it. job with yeah. the special effects and everything for, you know, I'm sure it wasn't a huge budget that they were working with. I think it's cool that people will do that and make these fan videos. Yeah. I wouldn't pick that actor necessarily for Gambit. No. Nah. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. It's neat to kind of see it in a, a live action setting, even like a brief right. action sequence. It did make me think, though, Channing Tatum as Gambit, I'm still, ugh, I still don't, I can't see it. No. I still can't see it. It's not the right choice. It is. He may may knock it out of the park. I mean, people didn't think Ben Affleck was going to be a good Batman. 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 And even people uh, last night at the movie, I can't remember if it was Jeremy or Christian or somebody else even. I think they were saying that they, I can't remember who it was that I heard talking about how they they just didn't think 
Ben Affleck was that good of a Batman. And I almost still think that he's one of my favorites. I have to agree. I have to agree. Ben Affleck, by far. Like, I look at Christopher Nolan's Batman. Yeah. And, like, I try to like it now, but, yeah. you know, I'm just like, Ugh. It's kind of silly when you go back and watch it now. Yeah, kind of. He's a great actor, great movie, great yeah, director. Especially. I love everything about it. Yeah. But I don't think he had to necessarily try that hard. Well, it's funny to watch uh, The Dark Knight Rises because it's, like, s- silly voice versus silly voice. <laughs> Yeah. It doesn't matter what our plan. <laughs> it doesn't matter who we are. I think they got Scrooge McDuck what to do the. What the, the... Is our plan? <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy Scott Miller said he was a good Bruce Wayne. So yes, I can't yes, remember who did. it was then. Channing Tatum may be a great Gambit, but I, I still we'll see. And watching that little clip, and I know it didn't have anything to do with the actual movie, but it made me think: a I still can't see him in it. The dude that plays Sawyer on Lost, I think, would make a good gambit. That could be good. Yeah. If he could get the accent down, if he could get the the New Orleans, Louisiana. I think he could. He's already kind of country. Yeah, Yeah, but he just has to tweak that accent a little bit. But his look and his demeanor, I think, would work well. But... But sometimes he, he might be does, a little old now, though. But but he's he looks kind of uh, stiff though. Anytime you see sometimes. him, he's like, yeah. yeah, yeah, like trying to wave his hair. We without, were watching like, the behind the, off topic, but we were watching the behind the scenes footage. Some, somehow managed to draw Lost back into the conversation. Oh yeah, you all, everybody. Um, <laughs> but it's so funny watching him do interviews because it, it's apparent that he hadn't like done a lot. And he was great on the show for the, for what he was doing, but he's just he's real goofy. He's just yeah. a goofy guy. The actor is. It's funny to see him so different from the character that he plays. You know what I love about being able to do our show while we have Facebook Live going? Jeremy Scott Miller suggested as Gambit Steve Buscemi. <laughs> <laughs> you know what we like. Yeah, yes. <laughs> that would be great. And then once again, it comes back to the whole idea. They need to do like an Adam Sandler. Or Judd Apatow uh, comic. They need to give the licensing to to a comedic group. Yeah. Just for just one, either Marvel or DC, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Marvel, and That'd they be can just cool. make a comedy movie yeah. based on these characters. Yeah, that would be cool. I would like that. Let's talk about some of the stuff we're nerding out on. Okay. Because it's the summer, so a lot of our shows are gone. Yeah. Uh, but we got the thing I love about summer is Netflix. Yeah. Not swimming. I <laughs> tell you that much. <laughs> well, it's around here, Netflix. you'll get like an algae disease or something. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so you better just stay in and watch Netflix. Yep. Chill yeah. if you can. Draw yourself a nice, cool bath. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Same effect. Same effect. <laughs> yeah. And if you do it at my house, you'll still get an algae disease. Yeah. So, Dang, so don't do that. Um, yeah. yeah. But um, <laughs> let's talk about first, let's talk about, uh, I haven't seen this, but you guys have been watching Glow? Yes. Glow. Okay, Glow. so Gorgeous is it, ladies of wrestling. Yes, yeah. you don't know. Which I used to watch that back in the day. Checked out Glow. Well, what I love about it is I got to meet one of the original ladies, uh, uh-huh. gorgeous ladies of wrestling, thanks to Balthazar here in, mm-hmm. from Oklahoma City doing Blow, which is Balthazar's Ladies of Wrestling, which was inspired by the original Glow. So Balthazar does Blow? Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, absolutely. Good movie. She, we she love Blow. Um, that was a good movie. I got this cool ring out of the whole deal. But no, it was fun to be a part of that whole yeah. um, setting. And I honestly, I don't know that I would have watched it otherwise. And it turned out to be a pretty fun show. Right. It's got Mark Marin, who, you know, if you guys are familiar with his podcast, WTF, or his TV show, um, he's always pretty funny and stuff. And then a lot of the girls, like, I didn't really recognize from much, but they all did really well. It was It was a great cast. It was a cool, fun storyline. Um, it's appropriate, I think, now. With, you know, there's a lot more shows coming out with strong um, leading ladies. Right. Or even ensemble casts. For instance, Orange is the New Black. Right, yeah. Um, so it's cool to see that, see more shows like that that are coming out. And uh, I don't know. I enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. Yeah. So this is a show. It's not a documentary. No. But it's based it's on It's based the, on the original story. I don't so even know is that the farmer's daughter in there? They, I don't think they used any of the oh, okay. original. Okay. Um, so it's people. based on it. It's based on the story. Okay. Okay. As cool. far as I understand. But so I wanted to see be, love the because, yeah, <laughs> because you know, you know, about all the, the Balthazar Lady of Wrestling. Mm-hmm. Was there any parallels between the show and what you're seeing in real life? To a degree. I mean, obviously, this is a fictional story. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, and I think what one of the biggest things that, um, the, one of the biggest parallels that I noticed, which I think is very admirable, is that 
these girls basically created this whole thing on their own. Mm -hmm. Like they had people kind of that came up with the idea and kind of perpetuated it into fruition. But those people ended up not being super reliable. So these girls, you know, once they got involved, became passionate about it and really carried it on their own shoulders. And, you know, that's exactly what I saw with Balthazar. She had this idea that she wanted to do this and created it all from the ground up. She made it all happen right. on her own. Mm-hmm. And, you know, that's not easy to do. It's How not she, easy to organize she, like, that. built a ring and stuff, right? For, they just recently did. She was renting one uh, for oh, the okay. first few with, from, uh, I don't want to say it wrong, it's like Mid, Mid-America oh, yeah, Wrestling, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. the ones that are out of the Crossroads Mall. Right. Um Cross Mid South wrestling, roads, cross roads. yeah. But she got a. Uh, she wanted to do this, so she went and she met the people she needed to, and made you know connections there, and then found the girls that were willing to do it. Had someone come in and work with them that was familiar with wrestling, uh-huh. training these girls that knew nothing about doing wrestling moves, um, and putting the show together. You know, running at the farmers market, getting the pyrotechnics together, hiring people to do the announcement, uh, having the, you know the referees and. Just like putting all of it together, right? And cameo, you you give your thumbs up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. I really enjoyed it because I mean, I wasn't. I'm not a huge fan of wrestling, uh-huh. but I do enjoy it. Like I enjoy right. the the Hulk Hogan's, the Ric yeah. Flairs oh, yeah. of the day, yeah. and you Woo! know, Rand, uh, Randy Macho Savage. Junk did you dog. find yourself during the matches, even though it was in a TV show? Did you find yourself getting into it? Yes, me too. Yes, like the, yes. especially the later ones with the, like the more production, the ones towards the end. Yeah, you're actually like there, you're like getting into it, and it's so cool to see them like start out not knowing anything, and then by the end of it, they're really good at what they're are yeah. decent at what they're yeah. doing. I, I was kind of mad that it was only 10 episodes. Yeah. And I mean, yeah. that's traditionally, it seems like, original se- yeah. uh, series. 10 or 13. Is yeah. A, yeah. I've been noticing it that, It seems too. like they're going to be a, doing a second season, though. Yeah. They kind of left it open-ended, and I think it'll be successful enough to where they'll have, we'll see more of that. Yeah. Cool. I can't wait. Yeah. I need to watch that. Um, Christian Cox, he says he started season seven of Shameless. I've only started a few episodes of Shameless, yeah. but of Same course, um, Jerome... Yeah, uh, it's a crazy on show. His name, but it's a it's a oh, really dang. crazy show. I interviewed him, and I feel so bad for not. Oh my gosh! Yeah, you did. Oh no! Uh, so the kid that plays Jerome on Gotham is yeah. in Shameless. Isn't it Cameron, Cameron, Cameron Monahan. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Oh my god, we stink. Dang, that's my name. <laughs> <laughs> that's what made me remember. I was like, I remember the interview. That's you terrible, did. cameo. Um, but Sorry. he also said something else that uh, I did not. I was not aware of, but I'm pretty Jack just hearing this. Uh, Castlevania. Comes out Friday on that. Oh yeah, it's, isn't it? Uh, it's an animated show. Is it animated? I think oh. so. Yeah. Um, Jeremy though is saying it's not getting very good reviews, but <laughs> but I used to love playing Castlevania back in the day. Mm-hmm. They need to bring back Earthworm Jim. <laughs> Some format. I don't care if it's a Man. game or a cartoon or right. a weird, creepy live action something or other, but. That's a character that I miss. Yeah. yeah. I would love to see pop They, back they up. need to, uh, since, you know, they um, remastered Crash Bandicoot. They need to remaster, 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 <laughs> <laughs> remaster uh, Earthworm Jim. Yeah. I yeah. love that game. It was so fun. Another show that's on Netflix that I, I've seen a couple episodes, um, and I want to ask you a little bit about it too, but Sense 8, it got canceled. Yeah. But there's been some news that they're going to have like a two hour, like, Movie finale, yeah, okay. uh, 2018. Sweet. So, all of you since eight ers out there, oh man, I'm so excited for it because I was very, very upset when um, the second season came out, right? And they were like, oh, you know what, like a couple months later, like, oh, guys, we're not gonna um, re- redo this next season, right? And there were like, right when that happened, tons of petitions came out. And they got, you know, way above what they needed right. for the uh, petition for them, to, you know, to even, like, recognize it. But they came out with a statement saying, hey, guys, we th- we thank you for loving the show, but um, we're just not going to do it. I'm going to butcher their names probably, but I think it was created by the Wachowskis, right? Yeah, the same guy that did Matrix, right? The girls. Girls, yeah. same, guys, girls, whatever. It's hard to tell these days. Yeah. It's hard yeah, to but keep yes, track. The, yeah. They did The Matrix. Now, are they involved with all the shows? Are they 
directing all of them? I or? don't think so. I don't think okay. so. Okay. And is – okay. So, Speaking of Matrix, this is another sidebar, but I found a way to sneak it in. I've been watching the uh, Nightmare on Elm Street movies. Uh-huh. And it's the third one. Uh, Lawrence Fishburne is in it as one of the orderlies, but he goes by Larry Fishburne. Oh, So there's wow. a little thing for you guys. Wow. Right You're on. welcome. Right on. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, what were we – okay, so Sense8. Yeah. So they – if I remember it right, they were like, uh, how many of, were there? Eight of them? Yeah. And the, they they all were like taking drugs that would kind of like open their minds to other stuff? No. No? No. I thought they were like all taking DMT in like the first... No, no, no. Okay. So this is, this is, this is it. Okay. So these eight people, there's like different, what they call clusters of these people that were born on the same day, same time, all that. Mm-hmm. And they all have this, you know, uh, conscious connection. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you know, let's say from they, drugs. No, not from drugs. Not I from know drugs. they were taking drugs. They were only taking. They were taking blockers, which would help them block out any other sense eight oh, person okay. or the bad people that were coming after. Right. Okay. So yeah. All right. I thought they were just all tripping. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, I. So that's another show I get to. Get caught up on. And that's the, you know, that's how I do it, son. He said, drop knowledge on them, Cam. <laughs> <laughs> when does Stranger Things come out? I think October. <sighs> yeah. But hey, have no I need fear. Them in my life. Next month, August, The Defenders. So. She liar. Oh, yeah. Get well, ready for that. Even better, before The Defenders, Game of Thrones. I don't watch Game of Thrones. So. Yeah, well, you're killing me. So. <laughs> you're killing me, Cameo. I need you to watch Game of Thrones. Game of Thorns. Let's talk about another show on Netflix that Gog, you haven't you're not all caught up, so what is it? Close your eyes, close your ears. What are we talking about? We're gonna talk about Orange is the New Black. Oh, um, that's fine. Yeah. And because <laughs> those of you watching uh, on Facebook Live, you guys won't hear this until we put the, the podcast out. Yeah. But at the end of this show, we're gonna have Taryn Manning on. Yeah, who plays uh Pintusky. Yeah. On the show. Yeah. Yeah. Tiffany Doggett, if you know her real name. <laughs> Pendusky? Yeah. I thought it was like... Never mind. Um, <laughs> <laughs> toothless? Yeah. Yeah. Well, she's not toothless anymore, but... <laughs> yeah. She's the real skinny, like... Yeah. Then, Meth head. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Uh, she wasn't... Was she... No, no, no. Okay. Anyway, she's been a lot of stuff, though, outside of Orange is the New Black. But um, for those of you who watch Orange is the New Black, I, I uh, want to talk about... This season, it ended on a cliffhanger last season, and it was whether or not um, I'm bad with names. Uh, Daya, Daya, yeah, yeah, she was going to Daya. whether she was going to shoot the guard or not. Oh, yeah. Well, in the new season, spoilers, she <laughs> does shoot the guard, and there's a full blown riot that breaks oh, yeah. out, and so the the season kind of goes along like probably like what three four days. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so they're negotiating for stuff that they want, including justice for Pusey. And I thought this season there were lots of moments that were serious, and those were very gripping. Mm-hmm. And then it was just somewhat ridiculous at times, and it took me right out of everything. What do you yeah. think? Yeah, I feel the same way, especially when uh, Tasty, that's my girl, though, Tasty, she cracked me up. But yeah, anytime, anytime that she ever talked about Pusey, it, you know, just makes you makes you hurt because you see as one of her close friends on the show mm-hmm. gets killed and there's no justice for it. Right. And, they, you know, they just, you know, throw her in a bag and, like, take her off to the morgue or whatever. Yeah. But um, anytime that that she talked about her, dude, I was like, oh, man. Oh, yeah. I was like, oh, this is this is heart. My heart. Can't, yeah. Can't do it. But then they would do things that, like, there was one show where it was almost like a horror movie, and it was just so stupid, along yeah. with everything that was going on. And I don't know, but it was a good, it was overall a good season. I wish Piper would just die already. Yeah, <laughs> I'm done with. I'm done with She's her. She's terrible, terrible. Yeah. I don't like that actress that much. I don't like her character. She's annoying. I, and the fact that the whole thing is based off of her, I guess, yeah. is. But if it wasn't, I don't think she would be on it anymore. She's not. I don't know. I. Don't. But technically, you know, 
this isn't really I'm, I'm I, I can't believe like all this stuff went on while she was oh uh, well no 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 like the riot you no, know, no 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 I, I, no I I don't believe that either I I'm sure it's you know it's amplified okay so Brad what, what we need you to do uh-huh. is go to prison yes and a no. woman's prison I mean whichever I mean Dope. I don't care I'm in I mean I'm not I'm not. I bet the women in I bet the women in women prison could still kick my ass. Yeah, I yeah. can see that. Yeah, I, can see that. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> and I, that's not me trying to sound tough at all. I'm just saying I bet they would whip my ass. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> I'm not tough. Cameo coming, give me cameo. This is such a bad idea. Yeah. <laughs> None of them are like Piper. <laughs> uh, yeah, but so. It was it was overall if you if you like Orange is the New Black, it's gonna make you tear up. Uh it does end on another another cliffhanger. Yeah. Uh which I thought it was pretty I liked it. I'm excited about when, when we get another one, which will probably be next year again. Yeah. Is the pie lover still around? The what? The pie lover. Mm, no. Well, he shows up every now and again. The pie stuffer. The pie stuffer. <laughs> Jason Schwartzman. No, no, no. Oh, Jason Biggs, man. Jason Biggs, yeah. Come yeah, on. Yeah. Get your Jasons together. Well, Schwartzman, he made a hair doll. He made a hair doll. <laughs> That's gross. Why Do you remember that? Doll? What was that movie? I don't remember. I can't remember This either. is my new voice for the rest of the podcast, by the way. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> Please, no. All right, fine. Everybody on chat is telling you that you're crazy for not watching Game of Thrones. Well, you know. Well, there's only so much time in a week or a day. Yeah. Whatever. Well, 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 I am watching The Leftovers. That's a pretty good show. Yeah. Yeah. I'm watching movies that I don't need to be watching again because none of them are very good, but <laughs> I'm watching them anyways, so. Well, we're going to talk about a couple of things that you're doing while not watching Game of Thrones. Yeah. Let's talk about some video games. Ooh. Yep. Yeah, uh, let's see. I it started out kind of, I'm a buddy of mine at work downloaded it and said it was awesome and i was intrigued about it once i heard about the concept uh so i got on youtube and i watched a few hours of gameplay footage essentially just watching other people play video games for for friday the 13th yes. colon the game <laughs> and um he said colon i know <laughs> i finally uh, i finally got around to downloading it and it is a heck of a lot of fun I saw this uh, when they were when they had the concept, and I think maybe they had a little bit of it. They were do, they were crowdsourcing, and um, uh, they were crowdsourcing that game. And I was like, that sounds like a cool game. Yeah. And so now it's out. You can download it like from PS4, right? PS4, PS4 Network, Xbox, computer, yeah. PC. You know, all the works. Right. Um, so. I want to play this game, but tell everybody kind of the concept behind it, because you're playing online with people. It's an online game. It's uh, There's no story mode or anything like that. Um, basically, you log on to the server, and you enter into a group of up to eight people, and seven of you, or there's one of you that's, that plays as Jason, and the rest of you play as camp counselors. If you're a camp counselor, um, you're essentially trying to avoid getting murdered by Jason, and it's especially the first, like, three or four rounds that you play mm-hmm. is absolutely terrifying. Are you trying to, like, bang the other counselors? No. Uh, maybe maybe in one uh, of the updates. Maybe in one of the updates down the road. Because <laughs> um, that's how DLC. it goes. Well, yeah. Like, that's, you know. yeah. Um, but, yeah, it's cool. And I mean, there's different ways that you can either escape or you can just try to hide. You can find a fuse, put it in a f- fuse box, and then they call the police. Then you have to wait a period of time before the police show up. Then you have to go to the correct exit. Or you can fix a car. Um, or fix a boat to get out of there. There's a few different ways of going about it. Yeah. Um, and you can work together with a team. Um, I I don't do that because I don't really like playing with strangers. And Gog's a boss. Yeah. I just I I go solo. I'm a lone wolf out there. Yeah. Just trying to get by. Just trying to survive. Oh. Um, but no. Um, yeah. I, I've I've noticed other people working together and. That seems like it could be beneficial um, in certain aspects, but, but by no means do you have to. That was one of my concerns and hesitations before I downloaded it was I don't want to have to work with other people. Right. Um, and then, of course, when you're playing as Jason, your goal is to kill everybody before they escape. And you get a few different um, perks, and they kind of gradually – they are 
um, you ha- you gain access to them gradually. Oh, okay. So you don't start out immediately with all of them. Right. Um, and one of them you can teleport to anywhere you want to on the map, which is fun because if you kind of know where somebody is, you can teleport yourself right next to them. Right, right. Um, and, of course, every time you use one, it has a period where it recharges. Oh, so cool. you can't just keep using it over and over again. There's another one where you can uh, use a fear sense. So as a camper or as a counselor, when startling things happen, your fear level raises. Mm-hmm. And the more it raises, the more Jason is able to sense you. Yeah. It has that. It does that. Um <laughs> yeah, so it's it's a lot of fun, and there's you know different ways you can you can buy perks for your counselors, or you can buy different ways to kill with Jason. There's different oh. Jasons that you can unlock as you level up, but nothing where you can bang a camp counselor. <laughs> None of that. Dang. I mean, you can you can do this. You can hit a button to crouch. So I'm sure if you got yourself close oh, okay. to another person and hit the crouch over and over again, <laughs> you might be able to kind of simulate that. <laughs> yeah. <Stupid. laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, and one of the cool updates they just did, I think it's a PS4 exclusive, is they um, offered a skin that's retro, Jason. So it's oh, yeah. based off of the old Nintendo game. Really? Which oh, is basically cool. just an orange suit. But the coolest part about it is um, when you're playing as Jason and you get close to a counselor, yeah. they'll start hearing spookier music to indicate that Jason is close by. And with the retro skin, it's 8-bit music. Right. So it's got that retro. So it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. It's fun. It's fun, guys. I want to try that one out. That sounds like it's a good It's worth it, time. and it's not terribly expensive. It's, I think, $40 to download Ooh. right now, which for some <laughs> for some cheap skates like this guy um, – but I mean, you know, most new games when they come out it are going to run you 60, 60 bucks, yeah. if yeah, not yeah. more depending on if you want to get the unlimited gold edition. However, here's the thing, if you a lot of times on PlayStation if you wait, yeah, 6 months. Yeah, yeah. especially if you uh, have the PlayStation Plus, a lot of times they'll do deals yeah. where you can get some But I don't want to wait 6 months. In I fact, don't wait. plus if you wait 6 months, then everybody that's playing is going to be really good because yeah. they've been playing for 6 months that's and you're true. just going to get destroyed. That's true. I would like to and we we could maybe broadcast this, get Cameo on there cuz yep. you know how he is with scary nope. stuff. Yep. Mm-hmm. We'll do a, a we'll do a Twitch stream. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Nope. All right. If we get enough people <laughs> to uh, to say yeah, say yes to Cameo playing around, if we get enough of those fans out there to say yes, then he has to do it. Yeah. If we get two or more fans. If we get three <laughs> pleases. Please and thank yous. Yes. Then Cameo has to do it. Yeah. Right, Cameo? Yeah. All right. He's in. No. <laughs> Dang. Okay. Well, here's a game I know you want to play. I want to play. Uh, I've seen the Hi, gameplay. See. Well, oh. yeah. Yeah, uh, I've seen the gameplay. Chinese freeze tag. That true. That too. That too. Is that insensitive? Is that I, I think, insensitive I think nowadays? Because so. that's what it was called when I was a kid. I think it might be. I don't. I, it's it's hard if it's to keep not, up. somebody will. It's hard to keep up. These think days. it is. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry I'm really point. trying not. To, my I'm tiptoeing on eggshells and ice to not offend people. But yeah, it's just in my nature sometimes. So I apologize. Okay. Well, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> Spider-Man. Mm, oh, yeah. Spider-Man. Although... Exclusive for PS4. Kim, 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 kim. The one thing that uh, I noticed from the game was it looked like a lot of martial arts fighting, too, which isn't really Spider-Man's thing. Well, maybe he took a martial arts class. I think it was yeah. more of a... This is like after... His, he's a seasoned Spider-Man. I think it was kind of maybe like based on the... Arkham Knight engine or something, you know, or the same kind of. Some of the gameplay kind of looked like that to me. Shut your yeah. dirty mouth. There's but that's what I think that, makes though. it look awesome. Your, there's nothing wrong with that, though. Yeah. No, not at all. No, that's no. what I'm saying. It looks like finally a game that. Oh. Because yeah. I've liked. I've, I've always been a fan of the Spider-Man games. Yeah. Y- yeah. Um, it's just fun, you know, cruising around on a web, swinging around New York City. But this one looks like it's going to be a lot more in depth. Uh, yeah. It looks like you're going to be able to like yeah. act, go into the buildings and interact a lot more. Do you think it's going to be based off any of the movie stuff or just standalone? No, it's, from that? it's not supposed to. No, it's okay. a standalone story. No, uh, Tom Holland voice work or nothing. No, no, no. no. They probably okay. got. Uh, I Steve think they. Pro- <laughs> <laughs> I think they got one of the old, uh, older actors that. Started off with Spider-Man. Voice actors. Tobey Maguire? No, 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 no. Andrew Garfield? No. I bet we can look it up. That's the great thing about having a smartphone, everyone. Oh, and by the way, happy 10th birthday to the iPhone. I heard, you know, there was some, some speculation, because if you watch it to the very end, mm-hmm. Miles Morales pops up. 
Oh, really? Yeah. And people are speculating that you might get to play Miles Morales. Like, um, It'll be a DLC that you paid nineteen ninety five for yeah, the season yeah. pass. Yeah. yeah. But um, hopefully you, you do, though. That'd be because, pretty cool. Because yeah. you, you remember in Arkham Knight, you get to play as like Batgirl yeah. or, or not Batgirl. Nightwing right. and Robin. Right. So I think that'd be cool. And Harley Quinn. So you, I think if they did do something like that, they should have him like a DLC or something. Right. That'd be pretty dope. Yeah, I like that. All right, moving on. Here is the point of the show where if you have not seen Spider-Man Homecoming, which most of you probably haven't. Yeah, because we're cool. <laughs> <laughs> but it does, it does not come out till next week, and we did get to see it last night. So here come the spoilers. Spoilers, spoilers. Spoilers, spoilers Actually, spoilers, let's start with something spoilers, that's not spoilers. spoilers. Okay. We'll start with something that's not spoilers. Uh, but there was a story that came out. I want to get your guys' take on it. In Iron Man 2, I believe it was, you had the little kid in the Iron Man mask. Yeah. Well, there's been chatter that that was a young Peter Parker. Okay? Mm-hmm. And... They asked Tom Holland about it recently, and he said, yes, that was, in fact, meant to be Peter Parker in Iron Man 2, yeah. which I think Yuri is... Yuri Lowenthal. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's, that's the voice of Spider-Man in the game. <laughs> yes. Yes. My thoughts are this. Cool. That's cool. But also, it's easy to kind of go back after the fact and be like, yeah, yeah, that was Peter Parker. We totally Parker. thought of that. Yeah. That was preconceived. Yeah. What We're do you guys think? smart. We're brilliant. I think it's a bunch of... Baloney. Yeah. It would be kind of... You know, it'd be awesome is if it was Tom Holland. (laughs) (laughs) Right. (laughs) When he was a little kid. (laughs) Right? Yeah. But I mean, mean, if you look at the timeline, like eight years ago, or... Yeah? Yeah. He's 15. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, it could work. Yeah. So, they... But they are saying that it did. Yeah, because he looked like he was about six, seven years old. Yeah. Yeah. So, interesting. Just a little interesting fact that's non-spoiler. Yeah. While we're... Doing our little transitioning you into full spoilers. I mean, like everyone I said, dies. Yes, Spider-Man. The dies. entire Avengers. But I will all say, the I will say die. something about that coming up. But okay, all right, all right. Let, uh, so, Spider-Man: Homecoming. Uh, it's Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Yes, Spider-Man. Okay. I think it was the best Spider-Man movie yet. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. However you want to say it. I think it was the best one yet. I have to agree with you. I think uh, Tom Holland put Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield to shame. Yeah, you think? I mean, because I was telling uh, somebody today, I can't remember, um, Tobey Maguire was a great Peter Parker. Sure. Horrible Spider-Man. Right. Because Peter, pa- um, yeah, uh, Tobey Maguire, his Peter Parker was, was, was how Peter Parker should have been played by Andrew Garfield. Mm-hmm. Because he was a lot nerdier mm-hmm. in that mm-hmm. as Peter Parker, Andrew Garfield wasn't. He was too cool for school, guys. Yeah, and Tobey Maguire Spider Man didn't have enough quips like Andrew Garfield right. did. But Tom Holland, nerdy as Spider Man and quippy as crap as Spider Man. <laughs> See, so, and he to me wasn't that nerdy, but he was in this kind of culture where you're cool to be like kind of like that nerdy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, he wasn't like... Penis Parker. Hey, I'm a nerd. <laughs> you know? But at the same time, he, he wasn't good with the ladies. Right. He didn't have a lot of friends. Not, right. Uh, not very... Uh, he was a... Let's see. He was a socially awkward young man. But at the same time, he... When he puts on... Either... When he puts on that, that suit, it, it, he gets to be cocky. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? And I love that. Yeah. I loved all the... I mean... This movie was hilarious. Yeah, by yeah, the way. Was. Yeah, it was. I, I was laughing my butt off. Um, I was a little worried going in about the two and a half hours because I'm starting to get a little bit like Wonder Woman dragged for me. Yeah. Spider Man did not drag no, for did me. No, did not. I thought did it not. was awesome. Mm-hmm. I didn't uh, even go pee once. Yeah. You know, I didn't either. And yeah. I usually go pee. Yep, me too. So that even during the show. So that's how we should start rating. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. But that's how we should start rating. All right, movies. guys, this is a no P one. Yeah, I'm telling you, no P movie. It's so a no yeah. P you're movie. Love you're gonna yeah. love it. But I also didn't pee in Transformers. Yeah. the last night. So Ugh. you can go pee during that one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, some people were worried that there was going to be like, and I think even maybe it was Ramez earlier said it was an Iron Man three and a half. I didn't think it was though. 
I, I, I didn't. Some people were saying there was going to be too much Tony Stark and yada yada. yada. No, there was just the right amount. I thought so too. Uh, I, th- I really enjoyed that. It's all in that same universe. Mm-hmm. And when you, even when they open the movie up, and I won't say what it was. I'll, let, I'll, I'll keep that so that you can see it. And yeah. That was great, the way they handled it. it oh, was yeah. beautifully done. This movie also, to me, one of the knocks I have on Marvel movies is the villains. That mm-hmm. you, you either don't really care that much about them, they're just not that great. Uh, Michael Keaton blew it away. Yes. Oh, dude. Well, he's just a phenomenal actor to begin with, and he's starting to get older, and he looks very intimidating in his older age. Yeah. 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 He did great. I thought he was very good. And then the thing about it was... There was a lot of villains in there that I guess I wasn't even aware of. Like talking to Jerry Bennett after the movie, he was telling me, "Oh, this guy was." Should we should we spoil with some of that? Yeah, we could spoil, yeah. man. We told him we were spoiling. Okay, spoilers. We're going, we're okay. going for it. So like Donald Glover, yeah, mm-hmm. his character was actually known as the Prowler. Oh, it sure was. And so, who is the Prowler's nephew? Morales. So I thought that was really cool yeah. because Donald Glover at one time wanted to play Miles Morales. You're kind of too old. Yeah. But he gets to play the uncle. Yeah. yeah that's pretty cool, I thought. And, and Okay, real quick. Uh, Miles Morales. So people are talking about the Blue Power Ranger, mm-hmm. RJ Kyle. Ky- I can't say his last name, but he's wanting to play Miles Morales. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He looks a lot younger than, what's his name? Childish, not Childish Gambino. Well, it is Childish, Childish Gambino, Gambino, but uh, Donald Glover. Right. So I think that'd be kind of cool. Yep. Or they could just like throw it for a loop and get Danny Glover. <laughs> I thought something that was cool, speaking about villains, is that they never announced him as the Vulture. So they didn't take it to like that over the top villain esque thing. Yeah. Like, you know, like the I'm the Green Lantern. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. He yeah. was just a like a <clears throat> he wasn't like a super villain, he was right. just a guy yeah. well, none with of a them. mission. No, no, yeah. I don't think they ever They called like, oh, the shocker or yeah. whatever yeah. it was. He kinda yeah, he he's the only one, but it, they Reminded made fun of, of electri- him too. Yeah, the electrocutioner from uh D C. Yeah. yeah. It's always a parallel, guys. Always yeah. a parallel. He made a reference. He's like, the shocker. Yeah. Oh, that was yeah. so funny. He's yeah. like, I thought that was the anti-gravity gun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that was hilarious, too. You know darn well that who, wasn't anti-gravity. Yeah. Tell me yeah. the name of the guy who played the shocker. Cause Bokeem Woodbine? Woodbine, yeah, yeah. yeah. What? I know that name. And He's I own, been in a lot of stuff. Dude. He was recently in the second season of Fargo. And I watched that whole thing and thought he was great. Never really caught that his name. But he's been in a lot of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I, but I've always heard that name, but I didn't. But he was awesome, I yeah. thought. The guy that originally, the one that got toasted, uh, he looked familiar, too. That was the uh, Shocker. The, yeah, the first Shocker. Jeremy Scott Miller says the Shocker's jacket was a throwback to the comic Shocker. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah, I, I got to bring this up, too. They took this out of the comics. Spider-Man, after Gwen Stacy died, he uh, went to an underwater base uh-huh. to go fight Green Goblin. Well, mm-hmm. Green Goblin, you know, the whole uh, underwater base started to blow up. Well, he had this like megaton like machinery on his back, and like right. you know, water's pulling in, pouring in, and blah 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 blah. Yeah. And you remember when the roof fell on top of him? It was the same look from the comics that it was on the movie screen. Right. I thought that was so stinking amazing. Uh, like, yes. So there were a lot of Easter eggs in this movie. Yeah. Do, yeah. Any any of them that stand out to you? Okay, so I don't know. This was something I brought up to you last night. So Flash Thompson, I believe, yeah, the, the bully. <laughs> yeah, um, this is interesting. There was a scene where they're trying. The teacher's basically asking him to explain this um, equation, mm-hmm. and essentially, Flash says something about it being linear, like point A to point B, and Peter goes on to explain the correct answer, and she says to him. Flash, it's not always about being the or being the fastest or getting from this one place to this place the fastest. Yeah, and yeah. I thought that was kind of odd. You know, like I don't know if that was them calling out DC. Well, here's why I think it's interesting, and I don't know if they really would do that or if that was just. I mean, it doesn't why, seem like a coincidence. It seems though. a little too coincidental. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Here's what. I, okay, so like watching the Justice League trailers and stuff, I think that the Flash. Looks like the Spider Man of of their universe. Yeah, he's the yeah. younger kid. Yeah, doesn't really have a lot of friends. Right. He's got this power that he can't tell anybody about. So he now finds a group of people that he is able to interact with. It's the same exact thing. Yeah. yeah he. Yeah. <laughs> he's he's kind of a fanboy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and I I think that it's just 
it's inevitable that that's going to happen. That so, these movies are yeah. going to parallel. Well, yeah, because I mean that that's what happened in the comic books. You see characters that are very similar. Yeah. In both DC and Marvel. So, and now, especially since you have the person that was in charge of, or was the director of the Avengers movie, now working on that film. Right. It's just it's gonna be similar. Yeah. Yeah. So it could have been like a little shot at DC in the Flash. It could have been. It could have been. I think or would be could have been quite complete coincidence. It just. In my mind, that stood out like, too, wait, yeah, too much. Of a yeah. Wait a minute. Any other Easter eggs? Remember the Howling Commandos? Uh huh. Well, the principal was the grandson of one of the Howling Commandos. Okay. Okay. And he had his picture on the, um, on his, in his room in his office. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. One thing I noticed: Tony Stark was explaining to Peter Parker that there's the Avengers. And then there's some other people that kind of take care of the smaller stuff. Yeah. yeah. Was that the Defenders? I'm going to assume so. I think he was talking about the Defenders. Because now they've said that they're officially kind of mixed with the MCU, right? Right. Right. So that's pretty cool. He didn't mention it by name or anything, so you can kind of take it what what you will. But yeah, Jerry Bennett says, like, Spider-Man 2, the Tobey Maguire, is one of the best movies. He, He loves that movie. Yeah. I wasn't very impressed by any of them, to be honest. I wasn't a big fan. Just wasn't. I liked the first Andrew Garfield Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah. I did not like the second one. I don't didn't think I even watched all of it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't even watch all the second one. I think I started it. All the like, electricity. Kind of Every time there was an electricity fight, it was like dubstep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but Tom Holland, to me, he feels like... Peter Parker, Spider-Man. He, like, I, like I said, he embodied Peter Parker and yeah. Spider-Man. Yeah. Like he was born to play that role, just like Ryan Reynolds was born to play Deadpool. Right. Yeah. I agree with that. So. I agree with that. The whole movie, like I say, there was it was really funny. It was upbeat. Yeah. You know, and that Spider-Man should be that Fun way. Fun summer movie. Yeah. yeah. But Bob, Bob. it made me think, you know, I am getting a little tired of the dark movies. Yeah. I, I just am. I think they could be more fun. And it seems like be. that's what they're doing with a lot of the Marvel stuff lately because they had the Guardians of the Galaxy and Spider-Man um, and Thor Ragnarok seems to have, it. just based on the trailer, has more of an upbeat, light sensibility to it. Yeah. But maybe that's because things are going to get so fucking depressing <laughs> <laughs> in the, uh, the Infinity War. Yeah, maybe so. Maybe so. They're like, all right, we need to give them some like lightheartedness before, because also you know, we're it's inevitable that some of these uh, actors that we've we've seen for so long are going to be leaving soon. Yeah, and that's going to be sad for a lot of people that have been following these movies. Um, so maybe that's part of the reason they're going they're they're so lighthearted with everything right now, is that it's going to get sad. Yeah, a lot of comic. It's always relief. calm before the storm. Oh yeah, yeah. a lot of comic relief in this. Yeah, movie absolutely, and his his little buddy was so funny. Ned, Ned. yeah, <laughs> the oh, man Ned. in the chair, the guy yeah. in the chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he was he great. Spin around. He yeah. was great because he was like that's how I would be. Oh, if, dude, yeah. If God whole, came home and he was spider. The whole montage sequence of where he just keeps asking him different questions, <laughs> yeah. like, "Can you summon summon an army of spiders? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> can you lay eggs? Yeah, yeah. Do you, yeah. Lay eggs? you lay eggs? <laughs> how far can you shoot your web? Yeah." <laughs> If I could do that, I'd just sit on the tallest building and shoot my web and see how far it went. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and then the scene where he's like going, he sees the explosion and he runs off to go after it. And he shoots it. Yeah. And there's nothing for it to grab onto. <laughs> so he's running across that yard. Yeah. Yeah. The that, suit was awesome. The yeah. suit was so awesome. The suit was. The awesome. suit was good. I, I enjoyed that part about <laughs> Karen, it. Karen, yeah. Yeah, Karen. I, I enjoyed that part about it. Suit and I, that's why I was glad Tony Stark was in it. And. He's kind of the the mentor to Spider Man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and and I was telling uh, one of my buddies that went to the movie yesterday, Albert. I was saying, you know, it was nice to see him in like something that's already like established. You know, yeah, not going back to hold the whole Ben story. Yes, yes. Um, we were talking about you know like his web shooters. You know, in the comics, he doesn't get that right off the bat. In the cartoon show, right? He he didn't have it either. Shield gave him the upgraded web shooters. 
Mm-hmm. So, like, I like how, you know, even though S.H.I.E.L.D. isn't around, you have Tony Stark who gave him those taser webs, those ricochet webs, mm-hmm. all those different combinations. Like I said, it's like 500-some-odd com- uh, web combinations. So I, I like how they didn't have to come third movie. He finally right. gets those, you yeah, know? Yeah. Like, I like how they sped everything up, but in a good way. Yes, in a very good way, because yeah. We've seen we, it we didn't need to see... Uh, him making his web shooter. Yeah. His uh, first suit. His uncle dying. I yeah. mean, it just... Yeah. We already know all that. Well, it's yeah. great, because he had all this technology, but he's still in the early stages of trying to figure out how to efficiently be Spider-Man. There's still, all the, like, the goof-ups that are funny, like when he falls on his face. It's just funny to see him not being great at being Spider-Man yet. Yeah. All right, we got a question from chat. I'll let you answer this cameo. Chris says, so, are they foreshadowing Tom Holland as the Spidey with Power Man, Tigress, Nova, etc.? Ooh. I mean, I could see that, yeah. but I don't think they'll go that route yet. Right. Maybe, I'd say probably after the third movie, if, you know, Sony and Marvel renew their contract or whatever, mm-hmm. or however it's going to play out, maybe they'll do that. Well, you've but... heard the news that apparently after Infinity War, there's only going to be a couple of these, and then it goes back to Fox, I guess, or Sony or whatever. Uh-huh. Which disappoints me because I want to grow old with Spider Man. Well, he, could, <laughs> I want to see Tom Holland as Spider Man for a while. In his contract, I read it. Um, no, I didn't. I guess he he's, faxed over a copy <laughs> on the interwebs. Yes, he's he get has it, get it. Uh, interweb <laughs> Spider Man joke. But he's supposed to be in uh, six films, and he's already been in two. So that leaves his three solo movies. And Infinity War. Yeah, but I think Infinity War is going to be a two-part movie. Right. So, so Maybe they might count that as one, though. Yeah. But I don't know. You know, this might be ten years down the line before they get all these done. So we might yeah. be like, ooh, Tom Holland. We'll get somebody He's getting a little old. <laughs> yeah. He's like 40 now. Well, yeah. well, you know, I kind of hope that they do do that. And then, you know, do, fine. Do. Yeah. Uh, and um, they find, you know. Nerds I'm... to boys. <laughs> <laughs> Nerds to the children. Ain't, ain't but I hope that they go, like, you know, find a Miles Morales to take over. Right, right. I think that would be cool. Mm-hmm. And then the Venom. And yeah, I've heard... been like a lot of back and forth about is this or is this not in interwebbed? Yeah, yeah. Well, in they... the MCU, I heard it is though. Yeah, I heard it is too. Um, but also, they were saying that Tom Holland's not going to be in the Venom movie. Ah, because but... I was wondering if that counted as one, but I guess it doesn't. No, but I heard he was like earlier this week. Oh, I just read something about Kevin Feig saying no that he's not, but I don't know. Oh, when, when was that? To like uh, today, like oh, well, today then... or yesterday? Okay, well. I heard, so. I, heard it, I heard it earlier, earlier in the week. Hey, so, all the but money talks. Y- yeah, money oh, yeah. talks. It but might I mean, happen. But still. I mean, Sony can do it if they wanted to, as long as it, you know, didn't. Sure. You know, right. well, it's so hard. Stuff. It's so hard to like keep moments like that under reps. Because how cool would it be if like you weren't anticipating him to show up, and then all of a sudden, ah, oh, there he is. Yeah, like, yeah. But it's almost impossible to have moments like that in movies anymore. Yeah. Sadly enough. Speaking of moments like that, there were some good twists to this movie. Yes. yes. I won't spoil those. Yeah, we but won't. There was the MJ thing at the end that was like, that yes. was kind of like a, oh. Yeah. But, you know, that th- there was something, like, don't get me wrong. I loved the movie. Yeah. I loved it, like, a billion times. Right. But there were some things I didn't like. I didn't like the whole Flash dude. He was a jerk. I mean, not, not, I thought it was funny though. Like when he meet, he's he's talking all this mess to Peter Parker, uh, and then he meets Spider Man. He's like, "Yes, sir. Sorry, sir." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, it's just that it's Flash is supposed to be <laughs> right. Uh, Flash is supposed to be like this big jock. Mm-hmm. Like, why couldn't we get somebody two feet taller than than him? I mean, actually, not really two yeah. feet, but you know, like six, seven inches taller. Well, than the Peter millennials Parker. are smaller nowadays. That's oh, true. Yeah. He could yeah. he could be like on the uh, they're more lacrosse. vegan. He's probably stuff. on the, the lacrosse team. <laughs> yeah, and has a vegan yeah. diet. Yeah, they don't eat as much McDonald's as we do. Mm-mm. Yeah, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they have small bones. No, yeah. I think it's because Tiny we bones. ate the McDonald's so much. Right, that's yeah, what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. yeah, and now we're huge because of all the hormones <laughs> they put in our nuggets. The end, like you laugh all the way through the movie. Oh, yeah. Up until the very, very end. And then there's a couple of, there's two post scene yeah. credits. Yeah, there's like a mid uh, uh, credit scene. Okay, so the first one, I'm going to go ahead and admit uh, my ignorance. Went over my head. I didn't know what the hell they were talking about. Um, let's see. Oh well, it was. Uh, he was. I think it you was saying, basically. I know you know some friends out yeah, there. Yeah. Who are they? Yeah. No, he was saying. I we know you know who Spider Man is, 
And he said, if I did, I'd already kill him. So I think it was just saying that he's not. Oh, okay. I thought I thought it was saying like we have some friends that want to oh. kill Spider Man. I, I don't know. Okay, I, I think I just misunderstood. Yeah, the, yeah. So that makes more sense. So and thank then, you for <laughs> clarifying that, Brad. The oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Christian Cox says that was Scorpion. So um, yeah, Matt Gargan. Yeah, that's uh, he's also um, in Better Call Saul. Oh yeah, yeah I recognize yeah. that. There was a uh, I can't remember her name from Orange Is the New Black. The uh, oh uh, oh uh. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I know but, what you're talking about. She's yeah. like one of the main characters. She yeah. was in it. There's a lot of uh, let's see. We already mentioned the Donald Tinkerer. Glover. The, the Tinkerer. Yeah. yeah, he was also in he's Orange also in Orange is the New Black. Yeah, yeah. he's Piper's si- or brother. So. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, and and then the last there was a running joke throughout the movie. Yeah, and the last scene of like past all the credits. Yeah, the very end credit scene. <laughs> home run. Was, oh <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. It was well, a home I want to say that it was like a huge troll on the audience, and it was well played. Yeah. It's like we know that this is the way that people are going to react, and therefore we delivered this specific yeah. Yeah. content. Yeah. I, I think it's great that you can. Have a movie that's an action movie and just as much a comedy. Yeah, I think that was awesome. Good job. You know, you, you don't want to see a comedic Batman, probably. But, no, you no. know. But like I say, Batman be is better for a darker movie. Precisely. The Flash could be a funnier movie yeah. if they yeah. wanted to do it. Yeah. Uh, Spider Man was a great Green movie. Arrow. You can do Green Arrow. You could do some comedy because he was always a wise cracker. Yeah. Where I'm would not Green you? Arrow, I'm sorry, Green Lantern. Is yeah. What I intended to say. Where would you rank? Spider-Man in the whole Marvel universe as far as these uh, these movies. Because I'm not going to say it's the best, but it's up there with me. It's, yeah. it's way up there with yeah, me. Yeah, I liked it a lot. I would say it's in my top five. I would say yeah, that too. Me too. If I sit down, and we probably ought to at some point, yeah. we'll make a list. Yeah, we'll do that next show. Yeah, but I would say it's in my top five too because yeah. I loved it. I loved it. They, yeah. they did great. Where do you think it'll go from here? With the Spider Man, yeah, like the next, not 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 in Infinity War, but just the next, next Spider-Man. standalone. I'm sure they'll introduce Oscorp or something. Well, I mean that that seems to be the move that you would expect. So hopefully yeah. they'll do something well, that you don't expect. I read that uh, Amy Pascal of uh, Sony and Kevin Feige were saying that they're going to focus on the other bad guys. Yeah, so they're not they're That's not good. they're not going to worry about Norman or Harry right uh, now. So, but yeah, who would you want to see if you if you got to pick? The villain for the next movie. I did like the Scorpion, but I think Mysterio would be awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that'd be cool. Whatever they do next, based off of this movie, I think I'm going to love it. Sure, yeah, I mean, absolutely. I hope we're not disappointed anyway. I don't. Think nah, so. I doubt that. Yeah, Jeremy Scott Miller. He says Venom, Carnage. I would think. Yeah. I mean, I would think we're going to see that. Oh, yeah. introducing these standalone movies. Sure, but yeah, I don't know that it's going to be tied in. I don't know. Maybe we'll see. Carnage would be cool because yeah. they're doing the Venom movie, if, and then Carnage could be something introduced in the next movie. I don't know though because he's he's a really dark. Those are both really dark villains from yeah. the Spider-Man universe. But that's what I like. But, sure. I mean, but, but then it's not going to be probably as funny. Yeah, right. Yeah. But I mean, they they could do a dark Spider-Man when he gets the black suit. He right. tried to do that in Spider-Man Three, but see, he wasn't dark. He emo was just bangs. emo. That's what it <laughs> is. That the one with that stupid dance scene? Yeah. Yep. Ugh. Where he goes Ugh. into the uh, suit store and comes out in a black suit. Yeah. Oh and he's like, screw you, Mary Jane. Yeah. I'm a bad boy. <laughs> I'm going to bring another girl in front of you. Put him in. All right. So we'd rank it two no peas. Two no peas. Two no peas. Because we didn't have to pee. Actually, it would be. Th- oh, no peas. It's like three. Yeah. It's three no peas. So six yeah. no peas. Six no peas. We six did not have to pee during no this peas. movie. We wouldn't pee. We no. wouldn't have. I didn't even no. go get a refill on my soda. I, I didn't either. I didn't either. Yeah, I was like, nope. Nope. Not doing it. You're not going to catch me in the back. Often I'll, not I'll wait for that moment where it's like, all right, this is probably going to be a boring scene. Yeah. Go run and get a refill or no. go take a pip. But, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say take a poop? A pip. During a like movie? A, a pip. Oh, that would be terrible. Uh, yeah, no, I'm take a yeah, like, If I had to do that, I'd be like, I need to get my little. money back. You know yeah. what they should do? They should have little screens on the in the. In the stall where My, you swipe what? your ticket. Crazy you say that. Uh, Shayla actually had an idea for that. It was like an app. Yeah. That it corresponds with the movie theater. And yeah. Like, if you have dope. to go poo, you can take it with you into the bathroom. But it's or like. You, or, or, I mean, you don't have to go poo. I mean, you, you just, just walk around if you yeah. want to. But you can't. Like, it has to have some sort of a way to designate that you're within a boundary of the theater. And if you leave, it right, right. cuts yeah. off. Man, we should develop this app. Yeah. 
You won't see us on this show anymore. All right. <laughs> we need we'll to go to Silicon Valley right now. We're Silicon, going to Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley. <laughs> <laughs> That's another place. That's Brian. the name of this episode. <laughs> <That's another place. laughs> All right, Cameo, you interviewed Taryn Manning from Orange is the New Black. Yes, I did. And uh, set that up for the people who are listening. Oh, man, Taryn Manning was awesome. Um, it was like we were friends. Yeah. And we were just having a conversation about, like, we haven't seen each other for a while, and we were just That's talking cool. about what's up. That's cool. That's cool. So, you know, not anybody out of anybody that I ever interviewed, not that they have to, asked what I was doing for the weekend. That's nice. And she asked me. What were you pretty... doing for the weekend? Did you tell her something exciting, or were you like, no. oh, <laughs> No. I was like, uh, I'm going to uh, work and take my daughter out somewhere. Mm. Yeah, I bet you did not impress her. You should have been like, I'm banging the black tar later. <laughs> <laughs> Day. I mean, I'm just saying stars are probably into no, baby, doing no. drugs. We can't do that, baby. <laughs> Base jumping off the top of the Devon Tower into a swimming pool full of sharks. That's probably with, better. I'm, with, I don't know why I would say. <laughs> why, why is it always drugs with you, Brad? I don't know. I don't know. I'm going home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but yeah, man, she was really awesome. I, 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 I digged her a lot. You digged her? <laughs> Dug her a lot. <laughs> I need to go back to school. Sorry, guys. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's the show. Yeah. Thanks for, tuning, thanks for tuning around, hey, everybody. If you're, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you hit the sub, 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 subscribe button. And uh, why don't you take that from the top? <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, if you uh, <laughs> like the video and you want more, hit the subscribe button right there. And uh, yeah, and, yeah, and yeah, that's it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I think that's a, a wrap. That's a good spot to say. Good night. Have a good one. Thank we'll see you. See you guys oh. sooner than later. Yeah. Come see us at New World Comic Con. July 29th. July 29th. I'm sure we'll do another show before then, I imagine. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah we will. Hey, Taryn Manning, how are you doing? How are you? Oh, you know what? I am awesome. I finished the last season of Orange is the New Black just the other day, and I'm doing great. It's Friday. It's the weekend. I'm ready to party, so uh, yes. <laughs> What's your plans for the weekend? Uh, one, I'm probably going to a concert this weekend at one of our themed parks, nice. probably hanging out with my baby girl, and um, yeah, it's going to be chilling. Summertime. I'll be Fun weekend of me. Right. What? How about? What about your plans? So I have. Um, um, I'm. P- I'm playing on um, the Gay Pride. Um, you know, Gay Pride is in New York City, so I'm playing a DJ gig there. Nice. And Sunday, probably just, uh, hanging out. I have. You know, I live. Um, I live by Coastal, so I'm just happy to like be in New York and see some of my friends out here and just hang out. Wow. I went to the Pride Parade. It was a few years ago. I, it was probably man. It's been a long time. I think about eight years ago, and it was wild out there yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> i remember seeing one of the guys on the floats i mean he was having a good time and it didn't end up a good time after what i saw he was dancing on the side uh, of the float and he fell over and cracked his face open oh man it was horrible oh no yeah but i mean oh, he that was real nice. I, man it was crazy but you know what I, uh, he felt the spirit and he kept on dancing so i mean i guess he was cool <laughs> oh my god Okay. Well, that's okay. We'll look at that. Right? But hey, I got to talk to you about your, your character, Tiffany Doggett. Okay. I know it's just acting, but man, you play her so stinking well. <laughs> what is your secret? Oh, stinking. Stinking, stinking. <laughs> mm, nice secret. Um, to what? To that character or to acting in general? Both. Oh, okay. Let me reveal, reveal all my secrets, huh? Just a little bit. Uh, just a little bit. You don't have to give all of it. Just a little bit. A little taste. Just a little, a little, a little, a little. Little appetizer. Yes. <laughs> um, let's see. Well, it just depends. Like, if it's basically like not giving a shit. Mm-hmm. Sorry, didn't mean to curse. <laughs> not giving a damn about what anybody thinks, and sort of losing yourself so deeply into something that you transcend, which um, is a reason why I do act. Sort of like an escape, escapism mm-hmm. from life in a way. Another thing called like a head change. Some people do it one way, some people do it the other. Um, another thing is like I um, I like to make money. Right. Make money. <laughs> so basically, it's like all right. I came from really nothing, and I've done what I've done all by myself, and 
Um, I'm driven a little bit by uh, not that, like not not, not that, but that um, it, it, you know, the, the more I focus and the more that I study and the more that I that I learn my lines and, and do the best I can do and really create these characters. Like the more wealth is on the other side, and wealth to me means stability. It's not about greed. It's about just having a stable life. Yep. I came from an unstable life, and and um, and, and I also love to. You know, take my friends along with me and, and, and my family and just, I don't know, acting has just been a, a beautiful thing um, in my life. Okay, well, I got to ask you also, you have two relationships going on in the show Orange is the New Black. One is a, a friendship with uh, Big Boo, which I love me some Big Boo. She cracks me yeah, up. Me too. She's awesome. Are y'all really good friends <laughs> off the show? Yes, yep. She's one of my best friends off the show. Absolutely. Sweet, yes. sweet. She is the greatest. And donuts. <laughs> I love that you love her. Tom James. James rules. Like, um, James is a, an amazing man. He's married to Aaron, and they have a they have a son, and they are a beautiful family, and he's a loving human being in his real life. And, you know, on the show, he plays what he plays, but these are all characters. So, yeah, he's awesome. All right, well, cool. I, I got to also ask, okay, I mean, I know you can't give... Uh, too many things away, possible for next season stuff. But the final interaction, okay, I've got to tell my listeners, spoilers, if you haven't heard, turn it off. <laughs> Your final interaction with him in the house. Mm-hmm. What could we expect from next season? Man, if I knew, I mean, I have no idea. Like, I don't think that people realize that we know as much as you guys do. And I'm not even kidding. Like, we know as much as you do. I have no idea what's going to happen. Oh darn it, man! I was hoping I was getting some inside, some inside scoop. <laughs> I wish I had the inside scoop. <laughs> I want to get to your music now, but I gotta say, I love your acting in Orange Is the New Black. And uh, to do a little segue, your your music movies that you've done, Eight Mile and Hustle and Flow. What got you into those? What got you into music? Um, I've always been into music. Like, um, I came from like a more musical family than I did any type of actor. So that was always like sort of part of my life. Um, those films, honestly, I auditioned for. I don't even know that. That was just um, just auditions where, where I was in the room, the waiting room with several other girls sitting around, and um, I just guess I got the part. <laughs> I mean, it, <laughs> it does happen. You know, it, it, it the statistics are tough, but those those particular two roles, I just auditioned and I got the I got the part. Awesome. Well, uh, nothing better than getting that call from your agent. Like, so, <laughs> the role. I'm like, so your first role that you've ever gotten, how did you, how did you react? The first role I ever got was um, on uh, Boston. It was uh, the practice, the practice. Uh-huh. I was on the practice. I got a guest starring role, and it was, um, it was a call that was from my agent. And I mean, I don't really screamed, and I got, <laughs> You know, I just screamed and just was jumping up and down. I was like almost 19 and I was just so pumped. And I got to meet Dylan McDermott and Lara Flynn Boyle and it was just, it was, it was amazing. I couldn't believe it. And then I I thought I was rich. I'm like, I'm rich. I'm rich, <laughs> rich, rich. I thought I was rich, you guys. And I'm like, I got the check and I didn't realize that agent fees were taken out and manager and lawyer and taxes. And I'm like, oh no, I quit my job. And I thought that I, because I had no idea anything about finances or anything so like that was like taught to me very quickly Uh (laughs) so basically like I had to get a job again and I was like okay noted and so basically it's not all like what you think you know there's a lot of money taken out what we get is very very little like the crumbs that's booty I promise you I promise that's the way it is (laughs) well okay so tell me about your song uh, Glitch Life Life is out. It came out May fifth. It's like dance and um, um, kind of rock song, and it's just it's a song I wrote, and it's good. I don't know. I like it. You can you can uh, listen if you want. It's just it's another thing that I do on the side. My passion and my love, but it's sort of just something that I do at time. When I'm not when I'm not like working on set. Sweet, and I'm, I just watched the video uh, yesterday, and I dig the video. I just love it all. It, it's yeah. simple and it's it's powerful at the same time. Yeah, thank you. That, that means a lot to me because I when I shot it, I was like, so you know, just like me, like by myself in this big house. Like, but that's the point. It's like I feel like in life, like we're just like alone in this life, and, and blah, blah, blah. I just feel like it. I feel like it's that powerful because it's that simple. 
he just said, I really do appreciate that you noticed that. That it doesn't really take, like, backup dancers and lights and this and that to, like, sort of put a message across. I think the reason why I have an eye for that is because I also was an artist when I went to college. I, I was a, a, a dancer. And, and if hey. you ever... Yeah, if you ever need a dancer, a backup dancer, you can call me, okay? Really? Uh-oh. Yes. <laughs> I can break it down. I can do some pirouettes. I can tap. I can do all of that. But, <laughs> but yeah, just being an artist, you can tell what a, a another artist is trying to portray, and you portrayed it very well. That's amazing. No, so I grew up as a dancer. Like, that was my first, like, I was a, I was a jazz dancer, ballet. That was my very first, like, craft. And then that led me to singing, which led me to acting. But if I try to tell the whole tale of my, like, reason I'm, I'm here, uh-huh. that's, it started with dancing. So I love that, that you were a dancer. You were, but you'll always be a dancer at heart. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to get back in shape to start dancing again because uh, I, I just need to. <laughs> I miss it. <laughs> well, yeah, it's, just, it's an amazing skill. Like, amazing. All right. Well, Taryn, thank you so much. I know you are a busy, busy person. Where could our listeners find all your music and obviously Netflix for your shows? Yeah. Where can we find you? Um, yeah, just under my name, um, Taryn Banning. So it's, I have all I have my name under like Spotify and um, iTunes. Amazon, Pandora, like all those places that everybody listens to music. Mm-hmm. Cool. Sweet. Nothing, nothing special. This is the same old, you know, same old places we go. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> all right, and I lied. One, seriously, this is the last question. What do you have planned for the future? What's going on in the future for you? Oh, my goodness. Ah! <laughs> those questions scare me. <laughs> um, I don't know. I really don't know. Like, I don't have any plans for the future like i i have like little bitty plans but nothing nothing too big what's your plan do you have your plan for the future just trying to raise my daughter the best person as she can be in this crazy world that's about it (laughs) that's very like present like that's all i'm just trying to get by every day and like you know make it happen like sort of just yeah just figure it out because life is yeah this world's nuts (laughs) yeah (laughs) it's weird Well, Taryn, so much. That's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Thank well, you for that. Well, no, thank you for uh, taking uh, time out of your busy schedule. I really appreciate it, and um, I wish you the best. Have fun at Pride. Be safe, and uh, you take care. All right. All right, honey. Thank you so much. Uh-huh. Thank you. This has been a Nerds to Men production. Subscribe today and check them out at nerdstomen.com. <laughs>